Whether you're still playing the game daily or just cracking open a gold one with the boys on the weekends periodically, you have to admit that Payday 2 is still a game with some problems. I already addressed how I would fix the stealth system in a previous video, and today I want to talk about the melee system. Melee and first-person shooters, when done right, ranges from a cute distraction to mind-bogglingly awesome. Melee in Payday 2 leans strongly to the former, and that is despite the emphasis on it. Every DLC release and even minor updates have come with melee weapons attached, and there are now 80 melee weapons in the game, with more for sure on the way, and they all have one thing in common. They all suck. You can find one or two in the roster better than the others, and you can make a build in order to bring the melee weapons up to a certain grade of reasonable power, but the maximum the melees can reach is far too low in my opinion. And even when you make a reasonable or viable build with melee weapons, guns make them look like a joke in comparison, and hey, that's almost realistic. You never bring a knife to a gunfight, right? Hell yeah you do, this is payday. The rule of cool is of paramount concern to these international bank robbing clowns. But because of the usefulness gap, the average person playing payday 2 is not gonna care whether they bring a machete or a meat cleaver, especially if they have a gun-oriented loadout, but they really should, because a lot of attention has already been paid to these weapons. Sure, a lot of them seem bought right out of a Lowe's or a Home Depot, but some of these models are really good, and who doesn't like the idea of bringing a sledgehammer to a gunfight? Payday 2 is, for better or worse, now the silver standard of cheesy action games. I should be able to run screaming through the lobby of a bank with a weed whacker, and people should be dying, man! Limbs everywhere! Those little plastic cables should be tearing through everything. Papers, grass, military-grade body armor, just shredding everything into its tiny little maw. But as it is now, when I go to town on a guy with a machete or a broadsword, his reaction is the same as if I tried the weed whacker shtick on a riot cop in real life. Like... Hey, come on, stop it. What are you doing? Stop! You know, if you kept doing that in the same spot for a minute or so, it might be a risk for an injury, but you know, right now it just kind of hurts. Can you just quit it? You know, you're a real prick. Somebody ought to teach you a lesson. How about that? And heaven forbid that I've run out of ammo, or just in the middle of my reload and I have to, real fast, smack the crap out of a guy who just turned the corner on me really can't depend on these things in a pinch on any difficulty level over very hard, like I would imagine bringing a military knife to a battle before, so what is to be done? Well, we've really already seen it. Doom and Wolfenstein's releases last year reminded us how amazing melee kills can be in first person, and they were cool because they were highly scripted, highly detailed animations that were a reward as much as they fit into a broader melee mechanic. Here's what I would do, make every melee weapon kill normal cops in one hit. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Ditch the damage numbers, ditch the attack speed, have every melee attack kill that target in one hit, and have a set of unique animations for every melee weapon, so that it's super cool to look at while you're at it. Charging that melee attack would result in a different, shorter animation to reward the charge, and different melee weapons would have different animations which would be of different lengths to make them better at different things. The smaller melees, like knives, screwdrivers, and tasers, those would have longer animations with lots more stabbing to get the point across, aiming the blade around armor plates, that kind of thing. The larger melees, like the sledgehammers, broadswords, American flag, those would be much faster, simpler animations, like one massive blow to the head with a sledgehammer should be. We would keep the concealment where it's at, so that the guys with the lighter, faster builds would have a high concealment rating and dodge chance, but when they actually caught up to a guy, they would take longer to kill him with a melee. Conversely, the big heavy weapons would suit a bigger, heavier player. You're not getting any concealment, but when you do get into melee range, it's on. If you wanted to make melee your specialty, there are avenues to approach skills. Say that you regularly take damage when you're in an animation. Well, you could introduce a skill that terminated that. Call it body shield or something. Hell, even introduce the idea of taking a human shield in the first place. There's something, but I'm off topic. Right, melee skills. You could have an epic tier of animations, which were far shorter. You could have a skill which allow you to string kills together if the cops were close enough, say, an arm's distance away. You could have a skill that allowed you to break off parts of bulldozer armor, damage the faceplate with a battle axe blow, something like that, and melee kills regenerate health, you betcha. Right now, most of the melee weapons are essentially novelty cosmetic items, but they're ones that don't really work. 
Introducing unique animations to each and every melee weapon would help sell the DLC that had them. It would bring most, if not all, melee weapons up to a basic standard of usefulness that they don't have now, and the game would be a whole lot cooler for it. Now this, for sure, is not something I expect to see in Payday 2. The way melee works now is viable for the engine, not a huge amount of work to implement. Payday 2 is in its twilight. I don't see Overkill going, hey, you know the one thing we need to do to prepare Payday for hibernation? Overhaul all 80 melee weapons, causing us tens, possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars in motion cap and animation to essentially make the game prettier and potentially more unstable with zero estimated profit. However, starting from scratch with these systems in mind might be a more viable option. I would be down to see, in Payday 3, fewer, more detailed melees, each with their own killing animations. I think that Overkill and Starbreeze have the money now to invest in such a feature, and it would help sell Payday 3 as an updated game with brand new mechanics worth purchasing, and any DLC that added more of these tasty little morsels would be even more worth it. So I guess this isn't really a video about how to change melees in Payday now, more about how I would like to see them implemented in Payday 3. I think for now, if they just buffed the damage numbers, it would be an acceptable trade-off. Not one that added anything, just one that would make pulling out that trusty K-Bar when you're out of ammo but not out of spunk a viable option. Instead of, well, you know.